I'm Shorty and welcome back to my YouTube channel Shorty Skate Series. I had a lot of requests for this video and on the weekend I was able to go to a really great half pipe. So here is my tutorial on how to full cab. One thing to note is that I'm not consistent with landing my full cabs, but I do know the technique that I need to do to land one. So I don't have a step by step breakdown but rather concepts in my brain that I do when I'm practicing a full cab. I'll also demonstrate some issues that I had when trying to learn this trick, as you might be having similar problems. What is a full cab stall? A full cab stall is a fakie 360 rotation to a stall on the coping backside. Before attempting this trick, I recommend you are comfortable with half cabs, fakie 360s, and 180 backside disaster, which is when you do a large jump before landing on the coping. I have tutorials on all these tricks on my YouTube channel and I'll add the links below. Full cap stalls are all about timing, and it's only when all the parts come together does the trick feel smooth and effortless. I was taught this technique by my friend and blading coach, Kevin from Soul Skaters. Side note, I usually lead with my left foot, but I like to spin left. So I'll switch my legs to have my left leg behind. This makes it easier to spin and spot the coping. If you don't need to switch your stance, just ignore this part. If you do, just be aware that you can clip your wheels and stack it if you have wide trucks. Ramp size. I've practiced full caps on various size ramps and I found the bigger the ramp, the more patient you have to be. I filmed this video on maybe a six foot ramp and it's the tallest I've done this trick on. You'll notice throughout the tutorial that I jump a little too early for this size ramp. Momentum. For this trick, you need quite a bit of momentum so you can air past the coping and spin 360 degrees. I will drop in and look to stall but not stand all the way up on the deck so I can roll back fakey and pump hard by pushing through my toes. About midway I will switch my stance and drop my butt while keeping my chest up. I will push through my toes a little if I feel like I need a bit more pop but it's important to keep your butt down and knees bent until you jump. Otherwise it can cause you to push yourself away from the ramp and fall. Timing the spin. Timing your rotation to the size of the ramp will make your spin more efficient. Just like jumping 360 on the ground, you want to use your arms to set the rotation, but you don't want to swing them around hard as it can cause you to over rotate and pull yourself off the coping. As you are skating towards the transition, you should be in good fakie stance. Before you reach the start of the transition, set your arms. As you roll up the transition, slowly open your chest and rotate your arms. You should only need to rotate your upper body 180 degrees, and then your hips can rotate the last 180. You can practice the timing on flat ground in shoes or skates. Rotating slowly allows more time to spot the coping. Weight to jump. If you jump too early, you won't make the full rotation as you won't have the height. Jumping too early has the same outcome if you don't pump enough as well. Missing the coping altogether is a fall that makes skaters nervous, but using butt and hip protection for this trick may help you feel more confident. You want to time your rotation and hold your bent knee stance until your back skate is about a foot from the coping. As you can see in my clips, I jump about a foot too early, so it means I have to use more energy in my jump rather than let the ramp's momentum take me. When I talk about jumping, it's not like jumping on flat ground where you push off the floor. Instead, you want to lift your knees towards your chest and release your skates from the ramp. The momentum will lift you into the air. Remember your axis. On the transition, you should have your butt down and chest up with your axis perpendicular to the curve of the ramp. But as you're about to leave the ramp, let your upper body travel upwards so that when you jump, your momentum will continue to pivot your axis towards vertical. If you forget to straighten your axis as you leave the ramp, you can miss the coping altogether. You also want to keep your axis upright in terms of side to side. If you lean to one side when spinning, you can overbalance and fall. Spot your landing. Spotting the coping made landing a full cab and falling less scary. Just like a fakie 360, I will watch the ramp behind me when skating backwards. As I start to rotate, I will continue to watch the coping. Once I pass the 180 mark, I will seek out the coping below, which is just about to the side of where I aim to land. Since I can see the coping before I land, I can tell if I'll make it or fall. So that's pretty much the concepts that run through my head as I'm practicing full caps. 
I hope it gave you a little insight and you can take a couple things away from this video that will help you with your full caps. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also tag me on Instagram shortstop.6 as I'd love to see your progress. Thank you for watching and please like and share this video if you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more skating tips and tricks.